Cheryl Preheim, two weeks, thousands of gifts. Brantley Dobbs hoped for a few ornaments to brighten what could be a very dim holiday. Brantley has a brain tumor, he's six. We first shared his story a few weeks ago and the family says what has happened since is more than they could have ever imagined. There you go. <laughs> Presents are part of the holidays. Oh, that's a heavy one, okay. At the Dobbs house, there are more packages arriving than places to put them. And hundreds of presents. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. It's from Jacob and Katie in Jacksonville, Florida. The Dobbs family will tell you the joy they feel about all the deliveries isn't about how many boxes or even what's inside. Oh, how cute! The Grinch made out of a light bulb. The true gift is the spirit wrapped within each and every one. In every package we open, we can feel the love just, I mean, just radiate out the package. All of that love is bringing out the best in Brantley's days as he battles a brain tumor. He still smiles despite being so swollen from medication that cannot stop the cancer but keeps him comfortable. I'm like, mm. You like all of them. Christmas cheer and some new toys are a needed distraction and fun for Brantley and his little sister Lucy. I'm your little bat. <laughs> Their map now has markers on nearly every state from Hawaii to Alaska, Oregon to Iowa. People saw Brantley's story and sent ornaments so he would not feel alone. This one right here came from the White House. This one up here came from the Pentagon. There are stacks one, two, and stacks three, still left four, to open. Five, six, eleven, eight. A ton of boxes. Can you tell them how many ornaments we've gotten? Three from. I think 3,000. How many trees do you have, Brantley? Nine. Nine. And one more's coming. A special delivery from a tree farm close by. Thank you, Thank you so You're much. Very welcome. So many angels here. And reassurance, Brantley says, from above, from God. He talked to me in a little white cloud. He said, well, it's just clouds and a little bit of light. And he'll tell you that um, he knows he's going to heaven. So, and he's okay with that because of the conversations with God. As a mom, that's got to be the hardest thing and the best thing. It is why every visitor, personal letter, each ornament is an offering of kindness and compassion in a season when there is no gift more valuable than joy me a kiss? in time spent together. The Dobbs family says they cannot say thank you enough for everybody sending so much love their way. Gifts from all over Georgia, more than a dozen countries around the world, and all of them sent in care of Hospice Atlanta. Their nurses are caring for Brantley and then sorting and delivering all these packages on their own time, and they could use a little help. So if you'd like to volunteer, you'll find out how on 11alive.com. Cheryl, this story is absolutely amazing. Brantley is absolutely yeah. amazing. Uh, but all these ornaments, yeah. they keep coming and coming. Are, are they going to buy a whole farm of trees to put them yeah, up on? Yeah, they could fill a forest at this point, and they want to share it and pass it along. So next week they're going to be going to some hospitals to share it with children who are also sick over the holidays because they have come to understand what that kind of encouragement has meant, and they would like to pass it on. Now, as amazing as Brantley is, yeah. his mom also, how is she doing? You know, Jamie and Brandon, his dad, are, are an amazing family, and they have just been so focused on making this a joyful time. And she says, when this time passes, I'm going to be heartbroken, but I'm going to be so thankful that we had the time we did and that all these people have become part of our lives through Brantley's ornaments. All right. Well, Cheryl, thanks so much okay. for that, and our best to the family, yeah. obviously, as well.